Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video. Um, it is pretty late. It is um, 1.25 in the morning and I'm recording this video because I'm doing some late night cleaning. Um, I've been super, super busy and overwhelmed. Um, we have had a death in the family. So, um, needless to say that my days have been just super busy from the time I get up to the time I go to bed. Um, just having enough time to shower, um, you know, get ready and take off and hopefully, you know, I have a good day and I don't, you know, have to stop and deal with pain, but I'm kind of dealing with that in between because, you know, life happens and we don't plan for it. And since this happened um, a couple days ago, it's been kind of like an, a long um, existing condition um, that just kind of progressed and got worse. And so um, she did finally pass away and um, so yeah, we've just been really busy. I've been really busy, super busy and not feeling great. And I was not able to record the videos that I originally, um, planned on recording, but I thought I would jump on camera. Um, I just got through washing my kitchen floor and doing a couple loads of laundry and just trying to get as much done as I can because I don't know what tomorrow will bring and I know that I'm going to be busy probably for the next few days um, and hopefully you know things calm down a little bit and I can catch my breath um, but yeah I thought I would just go ahead and um, record a video because there's there's one thing not that this is a super important thing you know compared to what's going on um, and I know I look really tired and I'm kind of shiny and oily, but it's 1.30 in the morning, so. So, um, I follow a lot of, you know, mature skin videos, uh, 40 and older. And there's a couple in particular, but one especially that I, 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 I watch her. On a regular basis my lights about to slide off sorry I have my little miniature ring light on um, so anyway um, you know I watch them all pretty much you know on a regular basis but this one that I watch I don't watch her like every day but I'll catch like one video a week maybe and she does do a Foundation Friday um, video. She does multiple videos, but I have an issue with um, if you've had Botox or fillers or any type of cosmetic enhancements or, um, you know, surgeries or, you know, just anything that enhances your your lines, your fine lines, you know, lines in your forehead, you know, between your brows, like the marionette lines, um, obviously fillers under your eyes. If you have, have had any of that stuff done, be honest about it. Like I've had a little bit of Botox right up here cause I had some creasing here. Um, and I'm lightly right here and it's been about a year. And then I had a little bit of injections put in here um, which I need to get touched up but you know it is pretty pricey and um, so but my deal is she's in her 40s I don't know exactly how old she is but she's had I mean and I don't know for a fact but just because I watch her and I follow her and I've been watching her for about a year maybe or more um, and I've noticed that like 
within this past year, over the year, um, her forehead is like really starting to protrude to where like I know she's getting more and more injections and one of the ways that you can tell if somebody's had Botox, um, especially Botox, like right up here. The other areas, it's kind of hard to tell, but you kind of can. But for the most part, if you've had Botox on your forehead, between your eyebrows, it's really easy to, to tell because your skin gets shiny. So, and not oily or, you know, dewy, but okay, well, you say, oh, I have this shine here, that's oil, but your skin gets super, super shiny. So... I can tell automatically, I know she's had her lips done, um, I can tell right in here that it's gotten fuller, like plumper, and up here is so intense and obvious that when she's doing her beauty, her videos and she's talking about mature skin and she's talking about hydration and, um, you know, looking youthful and using products that you know are not so heavy not so full coverage hydrating products um sometimes she'll use her hands to apply it a brush whatever 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 she uses but she doesn't address the fact that she's had all this stuff done and i think that it's not right it's not honest and it's given the impression that, okay, well, she's 40 something, and let's say you're 40 something, and she's using a foundation that's hydrating, um, maybe full coverage, maybe not, but when she's applying it, it's clearly going to look different on her skin than it is your skin, and I think it's misleading. And I don't think that's, I don't think that's right. Like, I don't think it's right. And I did comment on one of her videos um, about a week or two ago um, because I noticed that, like, she's, you can get, you can get too much Botox to where your, your forehead starts to protrude, like, especially right in here. And it starts to, like, stand out. And... So your eyes even almost get, almost like you get too much. So then you can just, it kind of just like goes down right here, but it's sticking out. And so I commented and I said, you know, with all due respect, like I love your videos. Um, you know, I love your techniques. I like, you know, just the different ways that she applies products Um sometimes there are ways that I didn't think of and so I try them or she just has you know it's she's I think she's a makeup artist I don't know professionally I think she is but I said that I think it's important that if we've had work done that we share that with our followers or whoever's watching your video your viewers um, you need to say okay this is what I use, you know, this is for mature skin, but keep in mind that I've had a lot of Botox done, I've had fillers, I've had my cheeks or my lips or whatever done, so keep in mind that it's probably not going to look the same on you as it does on me, but to recommend, you know, good products with um, good formulas, good ingredients, um, hydrating products just stuff that's good for your skin yes that's all part of the video like that's all the information that she's giving but she's not she's not saying that you know i've had a shit ton of botox i i have fillers this is not natural like and then she'll go out in the light in daylight and say and this is what it looks like in real light and you know natural lighting artificial lighting and so i told her i said i think that it's highly important to tell your subscribers or your viewers that you've had this stuff done and that it's not going to look the same on you as it does on her and all she did was give me a little heart 
you know, she liked it, put a little heart on it, didn't respond, and I left a pretty lengthy little um, paragraph addressing it and just how I felt like I said, you know, well, I've had some Botox done and I've had, you know, a little bit of fillers in this area and I, you know, I say it on my videos, like I tell people this is what I've had done, so, but I don't even want to say her name, but I just think that be honest, be honest with your viewers, with your subscribers, it's clearly obvious, and, it, I, and it's not even me just saying, oh, I know she's had it, and she really hasn't, she's had it, she's getting more and more, and it seems like if I don't watch her for a while and then I'll watch, you know, a current video, she's had more stuff done. And, you know, we use hydrating products, we use serums and, you know, illuminating um, products, just stuff to make you look dewy or glowy or, or whatever. But when your skin is so shiny and almost dewy but not dewy because you've had so many injections and this is all prior to even putting anything on your skin it's not fair it's false it's a, it's it's false advertisement and i think that it just it's disheartening because even though i said you know i've had some stuff done I tell people, I think it's only fair to tell people that you've had stuff done so that women aren't comparing themselves to how it looks on you and like, well, why is my skin not plump like that? Like I, I used what she told me to use. Um, I layered it. I, you know, went in with a sponge, with a damp sponge, or I used a brush or I used my hands and it looks nothing like you know, let's say she's 45 and I'm 50 and or vice versa, whatever. Um, but it looks nothing like it, it doesn't sit on my skin the same. It doesn't settle the same because she's not being honest. And I have a problem with that. I really do. And I know she's not the only one who does that, but she's the one of the main ones um, because I think there's a couple others who have actually said that they've had some stuff done maybe not in detail of what they've had but <sighs> she's 110% not being honest and she's not addressing it and I just I hopefully I'm not the only one who has called her out on it I hope other women have said okay, look, I've been following you for a while now and I noticed that in between this time and this time, you know, your skin's getting plumper, it's getting shinier, your forehead's getting tighter, your eyebrows are starting to pop out and it's obvious. So all I can say is that if you follow anybody with mature skin, if you have mature skin, if you've had work done or you've had some type of injections or even if you don't have injections but you're doing, you know, something similar to that, be honest about it. Be honest because women are com women compare each other yourselves to each other. We compare ourselves. You know, we watch videos because we like you know, we, we want to watch other women to see how they apply it and how's this foundation going to work. You know, I heard great things about it. She's going to use it and it looks amazing on her and then I use it and it just doesn't look, you know, is it the product? Is it my skin? You know, do I just look older than my age or, or what is it? Call them out. Leave a comment. I don't know if you'll get a response, but... It really, really bothers me that if I want to be watching videos with women with mature skin, because I watch both. I watch, you know, older women. I watch young women, young girls, um, because they all the products we can use all, all the same products, but they're going to be different for different skin types, different ages, um, 
and whether you've had work done or you haven't had work done. So um, I have a really big problem with not addressing the giant elephant in the room, okay? I don't even know what else to say. It just upsets me that there's women that have, you know, a following and they're, you know, close to, I don't know, close to 100,000 followers and it's not addressed. And if it is addressed, I'm not, I'm not seeing it or reading it. And when I made the comment about it and said, I think it's important for you to address and to relate or communicate that you've had a whole lot of Botox and a whole lot of other fillers and injections, it's not fair. It's not fair to, um, it's not fair to do a video and review a product and show, show us how the product applies and how it looks and how long you've worn it and, and after hour four, this is what it looks like. And after eight hours, this is what it looks like because you're lying. You're lying to your followers. It's, it's fake and it's not nice it's not fair and i i'm just probably gonna unfollow her um which is not a big deal to her i'm sure um but i mean she obviously has followers for a reason but my whole thing is all you have to say is hey guys you know i've had a ton of botox you know i'm not ashamed of it I've had fillers, I'm not ashamed of it. So although these are good products and although they they probably will look good on you, they're not gonna look the same on you as they do me because I've had a shit ton of work done. So if I'm the only one who has a problem with it, then it's just me. But I know as women, we compare ourselves to other women, especially when you're in the, in the makeup industry and you know, you want to look your best and you want to try the next best foundation or primer or moisturizer or concealers and we want it you know we want to look good and we're constantly comparing ourselves to each other and I think that it's important to be honest whether it's your hair color whether you're covering up gray whether whatever it is be honest there I mean you're not kidding anybody but yourself and it's it's sad and it's disheartening because these videos we're supposed to be sharing these videos to encourage and uplift each other but if I'm gonna sit here and say oh I never had any Botox done or I haven't had my lips done and they're out to here oh I overlined my lips. No, you had lip injections. No, you had Botox done. You had fillers. You've had fillers under your eyes. Like, be honest. Okay, if you have any integrity and you. I don't even know. I don't know what word describes it other than it's just dishonesty and it's fake and it's unfair so yeah it might not be a big deal to some people but it's a big deal to me and I'm sure it's a big deal to a lot of other women so if you're watching and you probably aren't because I don't have I don't even have a hundred followers much less a hundred thousand followers but if you have mature skin and you watch videos with mature women with mature skin, 40 and older, or whatever, whatever it is, whoever, even if it's a young person and they had fillers or they had Botox or they had their lips done, it's obvious. You start, their faces start morphing into something else. They've had work done. And the fact that they don't address it or won't address it is not somebody that I wanna follow. 
like that's not somebody that I want to I don't want to be like anybody anyway I don't want to be anybody but myself but when I'm looking to review products and I'm looking to see you know looking up a certain product that comes out and I want to see like what the reviews are on it and you know what do younger women think what do older women think I want honest reviews and when you're following people who are not honest you're not going to get an honest review so I have zero respect for somebody who's not being honest simple as that so that's my uh, 145 in the morning rant and I'm going to wash my face take my makeup off um, get rid of all the shine and the days you know wear and tear and I am going to be getting some some more Botox right in here and I'm going to be getting these refilled and probably a little down here and a little bit in my lips but that's all to come it's not going to be anytime soon but as i do get it i will let you guys know because i'm not going to do fake news i'm not going to do fake advertisements and fake reviews so i'm just not going to be one of those people i'm a real person i'm honest i i can't be fake and to sit there and smile and just put a little heart on the comment about being honest. I said a lot of things. I didn't say anything mean, but I said a lot of things. And basically, like, I love your channel. I love your videos. You know, I like your techniques. Um, but I think it's important for us to be honest about the work we have done. So, um, if you agree, leave your little comments down below for me. If you don't. It's okay, um, but give this video a like, you guys, because I know I'm not the only one. And share my channel, please, and subscribe if you have not already. Um, as soon as we get through with all the family stuff, I've got, I actually have a video that I need to, um, I don't know if I'm going to edit it. I do a lot of videos that I don't edit because... I just like to be real. Some things take too long and I do have to edit it, but some videos that are 30 minutes or less, unless it's like really crappy footage, I won't edit it and I'll just upload it. But this is one of those videos because it's late and I'm not in my beauty room element and um, I don't have all my, you know, professional stuff. My little clicker, I like to call it. Um, but yeah, this is a video that I'm just going to post because this is my rant and it really bothers me. It's very upsetting. It really is. You know, some things bug people, certain things bug people and some things don't. But when it comes to makeup um, and makeup looks and makeup reviews, I take it very serious. So anyway, guys, you're probably already asleep. And I'm going to go wash my face, brush my teeth, moisturize, and crawl into bed because I am beyond tired. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.